I sure did have a hard day. I'm fixing to get my horse, my new rifle. I'm a ride off into the sunset. Mama said never start something you can't finish. Mama also said do not sing, do not break into song spontaneously. But darn it, I got me a new rifle. I got to sing. Yeah! -ha! I got me an Umarex rifle, a six millimeter one. It may not fire real bullets, but sure enough, it is fun! My name is Airsoft Mike! No, 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 stop! <laughs> I promised myself I wasn't going to do this. Let's just continue with a normal unboxing and review. Well, as normal as possible, I am Airsoft Mike, after all. <laughs> and on that note, today's video is sponsored by... SwitAirsoft.com So this is part of the Umarex Legends series. Now technically, this will be the very first one from the Legends series that I have here at Airsoft Mike HQ. I say technically because I've actually got this. I've had this for about three to four weeks now. I just haven't got around to unboxing it yet. But as you can see, it's another one from the Legends series. So, let's get it open, excited for this, now I know what you're going to say, shell ejecting, yeah cool, but not really practical for gameplay, ooh, now that looks nice. So in the box we get a little manual, you also get 10 shells. And now for the rifle <laughs> itself. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's go through the features of this beauty. And then later on, I'll give you what I love about it and what I don't like about it. Now, I haven't even fired it yet, so I can't give you that now. Okay, so first impressions looks amazing. Okay, so let's take a nice up close and personal look at this model, starting with the butt plate. So this is the area that you would use a screwdriver, a coin, or maybe even your finger to unlock that. And then you would get your finger in there and prise off the entire butt plate. Because inside there is where you would put your CO2, not one, but two. And then let me draw your attention again to this beautifully simulated wood even down to the grain look at that it's plastic but it looks like wood decent job and right here on the top you have your safety switch right now that white dot indicates it's in the safe position pulling it back you're in fire mode and then you have your hammer that is designed so that you get a nice grip on the top right there. Now, when it's in fire mode, you can actually cock this hammer back just like that. But we're not gonna fire anything just now, so let me just uh, decock this. Nice. So as we move along, we've got this loading port and this is where these bad boys come into play. So you would pop a BB in each one of these and then load them up one by one. Do you know what? I'll come back to that when I'm actually about to load this bad boy up now. So we have your trigger. And by the way, if I haven't already mentioned, all of this, all of that. In fact, anything that is black on this rifle is full metal. You have your ejection port. I'll show you that in action later. I can't wait. And right here, you've got your breech bolt and this awesome looking lever action right here. Just want to get my fingers in there and go, no, I'm not going to do the one handed thing. You might just, or should I say, I might just smack myself in the face. Now you've got your serial number, your rear sight, which you would be forgiven for thinking 
This is a dummy one. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't move. But au contraire, it does. So yeah, that adjusts your elevation. So as we move down the barrel towards the front, we get to your front sight. Looks like a, a piece of brass right there, or it could just be a different colored <laughs> piece of metal. But yeah, your front sight and your muzzle. And that's the bit that gives it away, that it's an airsoft rifle, that tiny smaller inner barrel. But for the purposes of filmmaking, some clever angles would make it a bit more realistic. Now, if you look beneath the barrel, what looks like another barrel is actually the magazine. So when you're loading your rounds, you can put all 10 of these lovely looking shells. <laughs> Absolutely love how authentic this whole lever assembly looks amazing. Now, let me just show you on the other side. Stop press. Before I continue on the other side, you see that little button there? That's your trigger stop. On the real version, if that is pressed in by the lever, you can pull the trigger. If it's not, you can't pull the trigger. So it's another safety mechanism. And guess what? It's exactly the same on this Airsoft version. It actually works. Okay, let's continue. What some people mistakenly call a sling point, this is in fact a saddle ring. However, it can still be used as a sling point. Specifically, I would suggest a single point sling. So let me test out the lever action on this rifle. So I would need to take it off safe. Now there's nothing in there. There's no CO2 in there, so it's completely safe. So pulling it down like this and it works just like the real thing. Look at the top. Awesome. This really looks well built. Wow, this will be awesome on a movie set, trust me. So, pulling it back, and let's just make sure this works. Remember, there's nothing in there, so you'll just hear a click. <laughs> Quite a subdued click, but that won't last long when I put the CO2 in. Let's do this, let's get the shells ready, come on. Unlike any other shell ejecting airsoft weapon that I've used and owned, you don't put the BB at the top here, you put it at the rear. Now, as you can see, I've not put BBs in all of the shells. I've left three empty, so effectively blank, uh, because I wanna test out the inserting of the shells, the lever action, and the ejection. Right, so, Oh, let's get the first one all the way in. Lovely, that's gone in. Let's get the next one in. Now, obviously I've never, I say obviously, not really obviously, but I have never used or fired the real thing, but I can only just guess that this is exactly how you would do it. <laughs> I'm playing with you, of course, this is how you do it. So, just gonna test the lever action and the ejection. So there's nothing in there, so I'm okay to pull that trigger and will it eject? Hell yeah! And it chambers the second one so I can take another shot and eject. Come on! So we know that works. Now there's something I need to address and you can drop your comments below, especially if you own one of these or the real version of one of these i've seen some people do this they put these two fingers try my best not to swear they put these two fingers in there leave the little one outside and of course thumb on top 
trigger finger where the trigger finger needs to be. So when they fire it, they're pushing down like this. Can you see that? And then you have some that put all three fingers in and then again, trigger finger where it needs to be and so forth. Is there a correct way of doing that or is it down to the individual user of this rifle? Now, personally, all three for me. <laughs> and then one other thing before I get the CO2 in and do a natural shooting test, when loading these there, I see some people like I did initially, push them all the way in, get it right in so that the port is fully closed. And then I see some people do it like this. They will put a round almost all the way in, so you will see it like that. And then they use their next round to shove it all the way in. And they'll keep going until you get to the last one where you would have to actually take it all the way home. How should that be done? Again, is it through choice or what? Oh, I can see I'm gonna love this. And off it comes. And look, there's your tool to unscrew that. And it's a big old lump of metal, look. And if I can show you right down there, you can see where your two CO2 cartridges will go. And right down there, is where the piercing will happen. Now how this works is you put your first cartridge facing downwards and the second facing upwards. Now you're probably thinking, mm, what's that all about then? Well, how this works is the first cartridge or capsule that I put in this buttstock, it went down in there with the part that needs to be pierced facing downwards. However, the second cartridge was dropped in, as you saw, facing upwards. So that cartridge will be pierced with this. And as you can see, the little thing right at the top that will do the piercing. Now I just heard a little piercing noise. So I think this is ready to fire. So I'll just pop this back on. And to close this up, just push down and twist. I pro. Okay, Batman. I mean, sorry. Okay, so I have my target system set up without a target, just to stop the BBs. And for the first couple of shots, I just want to hear what it sounds like, make sure it does actually fire, and successfully eject the shell. Here goes, take it off safe. Oh, I'm getting excited. Right, here we go. Nice. It's more of a than a bang. <laughs> um, yeah, but that worked. Now, will it eject? Of course it will. Whoa, the bang's getting louder, funny enough. But then again, I am closer to the mic. Will it eject? Of course it will. And look, let me just show you both BBs shot out successfully. 415. 410. 406.9. 402.9. 399.9, I'll stop there. That's pretty decent. We are looking around the ballpark of 400 FPS.
Do I need to say anything? No. Just look at the groupings. It speaks for itself. Now, legend has it. <laughs> you see this revolver right there? The shells that you would use in that are exactly the same shells you would use in your 1894, or if you like, Model 94, shell ejecting, lever action, rifle. So what are my first impressions on this Umarex Legends, they call it cowboy rifle, <laughs> supplied to me from switairsoft.com. Well, the rifle in itself looks awesome. It feels solid. I was initially disappointed when I heard that the stock, the furniture, was not real wood. Of course, as I said, the rest of it is metal. But now that I've had it in my hands, oh my gosh, this is one of the best replicas of wood I have ever seen. The wood simulation is amazing, and I'm not just saying that. But on the other hand, I would have preferred it to have been real wood. The lever action, the shell ejection, everything is on point so far. Of course, I will need a bit more time with this rifle just to see if there's going to be any faults developing, any flaws. But out of the box, this thing is awesome. Now, let me be real with you. For gameplay, you may be thinking, oh my gosh, those shells are going to go missing. This is going to be expensive. Well, you know what? For movie making, perfect. For reenactments, perfect. For wall hanger, perfect. For plinking around with, perfect. What about gameplay? I would still say, perfect. The only thing is, make sure you pick up them shells afterwards and hopefully you can find them. <laughs> now, don't just completely write this off as no good for gameplay because as you may know, there are many gameplay sites that have themed gameplay and sometimes you have Western themes. How awesome would that be, rocking up with one of these? If you like what you see, hit that video description. There will be a direct link and an option to buy more shells. Oh, and there's a special offer. More details about that in the video description. Thanks again to switairsoft.com and thank you for watching.